Good afternoon uh, to, to uh, the European uh, participants in the conference. Good morning uh, to those of you uh, in, in North America. So my name is Philip Lane. I'm a, a board member here at the ECB, and it's it's my role to offer a brief uh, set of welcoming remarks for our annual monetary policy conference, which this year is an online format. So the, the agenda for the next uh, two days, I think, reflects the wide range of topics relevant for monetary policy. So between the, the papers that will be, will be presented and the keynotes, uh, it covers uh, quite a wide range. So uh, monetary policy normalization, which of course is a, of immediate interest. The structure of money markets, the structure of, of bond markets, and uh, you know, a very important uh, theme throughout, I think, the, the two days, is the role of information, uh, how beliefs are formed, uh, how people learn, and in today's highly uncertain, economic and inflation environment. Uh, I think this is a very pertinent topic. Let me uh, mention also, which of course for us is very helpful, is a, a lot of the agenda reflects the unique nature of the euro area. Uh, the ECB is a young central bank. The euro, euro area as a single currency zone is only uh, 20 years old. And of course, with that limited track record, the ability to, to understand how the year area performs under today's circumstances uh, is limited. It's also clear that with now about to be 20 countries with Croatia joining, uh, it's a complicated monetary system. Uh, so without full fiscal union, full uh, capital markets union, and incomplete banking, banking union, uh, it, it's clear that we cannot have a like-for-like -like comparison between the euro area and other uh, monetary zones. And this is, uh, I think, reinforced by the fact that the euro area has undergone uh, quite a few regime changes um, uh, over its 20 years. So comparing the macro institution environment now to 20 years ago is quite different. Uh, so in terms of institutions, you know, the role of the ESM, the SSM, Next Generation EU, um, and to add some acronyms from us, OM, OMT and now TPI. All of these uh, uh, are institutional changes uh, which affect, uh, I think, the conduct and transmission of monetary policy. Um, and of course, uh, uh, I, I think that this is a, a very relevant situation. Now, regardless of the institutional setup, uh, the heterogeneity in the euro area across the different countries, I think is again uh, very important to understand for monetary policy. And again, uh, in the agenda, you know, looking at, for example, the fiscal implications of national differences in convenience yields, you know, is, is something uh, uh, very relevant, as is the issue about information spillovers across the member countries and possible contagion effects. And also, I, I quite liked the, the uh, theme of trust in macroeconomics, uh, which is one of the uh, papers uh, in the session, because of course, I think uh, we would all be very sympathetic uh, to, to the integration of behavioral economics into macroeconomics, uh, the role of uh, rules of thumb heuristics in, in learning about how the area operates. Um, and again, I think this is even more important uh, when there's really double learning, I think, in the area, you know, we all have to understand how our own national economies operate, our own national institutions operate, but also as an aggregation to understanding how the EU area as a single monetary system uh, operates. And then maybe just uh, be before I uh, finish and hand, hand back uh, to the agenda, um, uh, let me just make a comment on monetary policy normalization. So, uh, you know, with, with the suite of policies we've had since uh, 2015, where we've had uh, very low uh, policy rates, where we've had significant asset purchases, and we've also had a, a, a very extensive uh, lending program through, through the Telcher program, having a, a joint understanding of what normalization means. The normalization of rates, uh, the normalization of lending operations, and the normalization of, of uh, asset portfolios. Uh, I think it is important in terms of sequencing, uh, relative contribution, um, and uh, the, the uh, paper on the program uh, on this topic, I'm sure, would be very helpful to us uh, as we think more about these issues. So with that, um, you know, I'm envious of uh, those of you who are able to 
take part for the next day and a half. Uh, ordinarily, I, I would uh, try to, to uh, participate, but, but unfortunately, uh, on this occasion, uh, with the IMF meetings going on, uh, it's, it's just not possible. So uh, let me uh, wish, wish you the, uh, the best uh, of luck for the, for the current uh, two days. And with that, hand over uh, to the first session.